Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of the Setback Strategist Network. Um, I'm so excited. This evening we have a very special guest in the house tonight. We have tonight we have Blue Sensation Montez McCamish. Welcome to the show. How are you doing this evening? I'm doing quite well. Thanks for having me today. Well, like I said, I'm, I'm, uh, I've, I've seen some of your material. Uh, you're doing some great things out there on social media and on the internet, you know. And um, when when I had when I found out that I had the opportunity to interview you, I was very excited, you know. So I I just want you to be able to you know come on here tonight on on the network and just just tell your testimony in your journey to uh, becoming this blues artist that, that you are right now. So um, maybe if you can start off by just telling us, you know, how did you get started? You know, how, how did you get to, you know, the beginning to, you know, where you are right now? Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, well, the the journey, it's, it's been quite a rough journey, but on the start of it all, I'd have to say it, it started uh, through the Internet, but uh, through a gentleman named Mike Andrews. He uh, helped me a whole lot with then coming to the production of the material and setting up the the different uh, ways to share it, uh, adding me in different groups to connecting me with people. Um, from there on, it uh, it evolved into just a whole lot of different relationships with people through the internet. And then I ran into the rate group, and uh, they they've uh, They've really uh, done a whole lot for me right now when it comes to uh, promoting my music or, or, or even uh, making me who I am right now within the music industry, or so to speak. Okay. Well, well Montez, let me, let me ask you this. You know, a, a lot of people um, have a dream, and a lot of times people are afraid of failure. They're afraid of success. Uh, you know, they're afraid of the unknown. What, what, what were some of the challenges for you as you as you were first getting started? I mean, how difficult was you? How difficult was it for you to make that first step? The first step's always the most difficult thing to do. Um, it was, it was, it was pretty hard. Um, letting go of your fear, and then also too coming outside of your comfort zone. A lot of people, that's the you know, that's the, <laughs> you, normally you know you don't you don't want to do something that's uncomfortable, so that's 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 pretty tough. Um, probably the toughest thing within it all, I'd say. Okay. So so let, let me ask you this: as you started this this journey and you you made the decision that you know no matter what, I'm I'm going to do it anyways, no matter if I'm afraid or not. What are some of the challenges that you faced once you made that decision to get started? Tell us about some of those challenges. That I, that I made to, 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 I'm sorry. Tell us about some of the challenges that you faced once you made that decision that you were going to pursue being a blues artist. What were some of the challenges that you faced when you made that decision? One of the challenges I'd have to say would probably be uh, sticking to it. Um, there's so many different avenues that one might go. You know, you might change your mind and say, it's, well, instead of doing the blues, I'll do this. Or or, or I might, and, you know, I've learned so much about music. Instead of doing the blues, I might produce music instead, you know, like make the beat or be the guitarist or, what have you? Um, staying focused, <laughs> staying focused on, on on what you're going to do. That's a really big challenge, and having the drive to continue to stay focused and, and not letting something stop you. You know, um, the downfalls of, of of marketing your music or the downfalls of comments that someone may give you within your music or what have you. Being able to take every comment. And accepting them for what it is, and 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 not taking it so heavy, and 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 causing you to stop pushing what you're doing. Uh, 
Not that there, probably. Now, now um, Montez, let me, let me ask you this. What is a typical day for um, for you? I mean, you, you, are, you, are, you are a superstar right now. What is, a, what is a typical day for you? A typical day, I'd say, is probably waking up in the morning, cooking breakfast for my children. After that, they'd probably take their nap. <laughs> uh, I, I don't really do too much on the day-to-day. -to -day. Just, just, just living it one day at a time, taking, taking my time, trying to really relate with that, taking my time, I'd say. So, I, I know you. I know you have a lot of things going on right now. Uh, can you tell us about any upcoming events, upcoming projects, things that you may be working on, people, other artists that you may be working with? Uh, what are What are some of those things? What's some upcoming things you have going on? Well, I've been working with a whole lot of people, like um, in different states and things like that. Uh, but within right now, I'm working on an album. Um, after I released The Last Minute of Pentecost, I felt like I should work on another album. It would be 12 songs, um, no more than 14. And I wanted to call it No Man's an Island, talking about the relationships with people and um, bringing out the awareness that you have to have uh, relationships with people to uh, get to where you need to go. No one can do it by themselves. Um, I've been working a whole lot with... Uh, uh, just, just a whole lot of uh, producers that make make the music. Um, but as far as like anything that's ready to drop right now at this moment, I don't have anything determined yet. I'm just, I'm, I'm really just spending a whole lot of time getting back to the ground of it all. Hey, uh, Montez, uh, for, for the audience, uh, anyone out there that want to, you know, book you for an event or want to work with you or anything like that. How can they? How can they get in touch with you? Why don't you, why don't you leave some? Of, you can, you leave some of your your uh, your information out there. Your, your website, your social media links. What, how, how can they get a hold of you? Well, I'm I'm LinkedIn pretty much uh, wherever you can find me on LinkedIn. You can find me on Google Plus. You can find me on Facebook. You can find me about anywhere that the social media sites are, are available. Um, all you have to do is really just type in my name. That's M-O-N-T-E-Z. My last name is M-C-C-A-M-I-S-H. I'm on Twitter as well. I forgot that. But it, it, it's, it's all right. Um, Mr. <laughs> uh, um, Montez, before we, before we end the show, I... I, I um, I definitely want to ask you one last question. All right, there, there's there's a there's a, a person out there right now that that has a dream right now, and they are so afraid to get started. They have a lot of things going on, you know, a lot of distractions. What what kind of advice can you give a person right now that wants to get started, but they just they're struggling right now to get started? Well, I I, I tell them this. Uh... It is, it is nerve-wracking. It's only nervous. Uh, a struggle to get started. Um, it's only going to be, you're going to have those uh, natural emotions and feelings of, oh, I kind of want to do it, or I, this is that. kind of what I'm in <laughs> right now, so I can't really give everyone the best advice of how to walk through it. All I can do is, is pray about it. Um, continue to strive for what you know and what you feel that you want to do, uh, don't stop. Don't let anyone uh, down you to the point to where you feel like you want to give up. Uh, uh, know that it takes more than one day to, to get to where you're going. Um, there'll be lots of step backs, lots of rocks in the roads. And you'll have to hurdle over a whole lot of them, but through it all, I'm, I'm sure that you can make it if you press forwards and, 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 and don't allow other people to... Or, or, or comments or, or, or anything to stop you from what you're doing. You know, you got to constantly push, constantly. Um, now, I'd, I'd say you have to have faith. Um, and if you have that, uh, it, 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 it can happen. 
Montez, uh, definitely want to thank you again for being on the Setback Strategies Network. Uh, you know, keep doing what you're doing. You're doing a great job, and um, you know, much success for you down the road. And uh, thank you, thank you for being on the show. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me, and I appreciate you taking the time to uh, uh, have me on your show. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you, and you take care.